Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone, salutation to you, I pushing this word in sincerity and truth, Shalom to you, few and faithful aquats, being your obedience unto your husbands, and living in silence, this is your brother Yasad, back at you with another lesson, we'll tell you fine. Right, um, this lesson here is entitled uh, What if a heathen were to repent no, sorry. What if a, a heathen were to convert and start to keep the laws, statutes and commandments you know and follow up on to our customs you know Will they will they apply along or will they be joined on to us Israelites the covenant that, that we have with the Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? Because that's a good topic, you know. You know, we see in a lot of these churches. You know, the heathens being joined, you know, to serve the Lord. But but we know that these heathens could do what they could change their life they could circumcise themselves start to keep the laws such and commandments it would be of no profit to them because the lord is not dealing with, with these nations he's actually dealing with with a particular seed right he's actually dealing with a particular seed that and that wouldn't even change the the judgment you know, that wouldn't stop them from gaining the judgment that is pronounced against them. Right, so first and foremost, I'll go into the book of Romans chapter 9 and verses 4. It says, Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenant? So, the Israelites are the ones that were given the, the day, were given the covenant and the laws. And the service of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that service going into what? Being a, a prophet unto the Lord. Right? That's why he say he 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 knew thee from, from thy mother's womb. Uh, that is Jeremiah 1 and 5, I believe. It said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. We are not me praying separate and I ordain the prophet unto the nations you know right so so we the Israelites are the ones to upkeep the service of the Lord right they didn't yet see the Lord use the heathens to go and preach and wake up the house of Israel no right I why am um, called us a, a holy priesthood unto himself right a peculiar people look at that look at, i think is peter right first peter 2 and 9 but he had a chosen generation a royal priesthood and a holy nation which is a separate nation a peculiar people that he should shew for the praises of him who had called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light right so back at the romans 9 and 4 and the promises so all the promises the kingdom of heaven you know we 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 gain, gain in the the victory you know um the the ability to have immortality all these things was promised unto us right it says, Whose are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh came, who is over all, yeah, how are blessed forever, as meaning over all the nations, because the scriptures say, um, if we observe to do and to keep his, his ways, you know, he can make we above all the other nations, or well, practically we, are, we already are above all the nations, but you know, right now we're in a lower state because we sinned against the Lord, right? But it's not as though the word of Yahweh 
had taken on effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall thy seed be called and this here is a separation because as we see here just as um, um, in Isaac um, um, there were Isaac and Ishmael and Ish Ishmael was rejected there is um, Jacob and Esau Esau was rejected so so that is why the angels say unto Rebecca there are two nations in thy womb you know this right Genesis 25 23 and the Lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger and this here is our future prophecy where the elder serving the younger you know which would be second Ezra 6 and 9 Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it right so because right now the younger Jacob serving is his elder brother you know the yoke of, 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 of Esau is upon his brother's neck right now you know so that is what it says here that um neither because they are the seed of abraham are they all children because um ishmael was also one of abraham um, abraham's son but yet when isaac shall thy seed be called the lord set up the righteous lineage to isaac neither because they have the seed of abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall thy seed be called, that is, they which are the children of the, the flesh. These are not the children of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. See, there's a separation here. There's a, a separation here. Let's say, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Yeah, so once these heathen nations are not you know they 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 are not the seed the 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 direct seed of abraham going into the aspect of of chosen of the lord you know to be the sons of, of, of the living power the children of yahweh they wasn't chosen right so they they out of the picture you know they out of the picture that's why the lord even lightened them until a job that falls out of the bucket um, let me get go into the book of Galatians because the promises has has a lot to do with it, you know. Because these king, these heathens wouldn't be salvaged, which going into salvation. Neither are they gonna be, you know, in 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 ruling power in the kingdom of heaven, right? Um, Galatians three and sixteen, right? Because before I bring this, as we see here in the Psalms 147, because the Lord didn't choose them, these heathen nations, to keep his laws, such and commandments, you know. Psalms 147 and 19, he shoot his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, as for his judgments, they have not known them, praise ye the Lord, yeah. The Lord didn't deal upon that level with these other nations, right? So even self, if they were to come and want to convert and and want to start to keep the Lord's such and commandments, the the holy days are the Lord, the feasts, they it would be of non effect on, onto these heathens, right? Um, the hey, for even the Passover, it was strictly that. None of these heathens could have kept the Passover, which we know is a, is a, is a, um, is something that is to be perpetual throughout all the generation of the Israelites, you know, keeping at the Passover. I'm going to get a count in the book of Exodus 12. Right. 
Alright, ten boosts. Alright, so well basically we all know by now what is the Passover, you know, the killing of the lamb, you know, all these things, you know, eating of the lamb and the, the bitter herbs, you know. Alright, um, I'll just go to the point, Exodus 12, 43, and the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, this is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. Which is this stranger talking about a heathen. But every man's servant that is bought for money, when thou hast circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. A foreigner and an hired servant shall not eat thereof. Which is actually speaking of a heathen because of a stranger, which which is an Israelite that didn't grow up under the, the, the customs or, or within the... the the designated area you know at Jerusalem there right they could have come and circumcise and keep the Passover but if a heathen were to come now they, they, they cannot keep it you know what um, right in one house shall it be eaten thou shalt not carry forth out of the flesh a board out of, of the house neither shall you break a bone thereof all the congregation of Israel shall keep it right there yeah. right so no heathens within our ordinances you know keeping our holy feasts our holy you know memorials none of these things right um amos three and one i would say here this word the lord had spoken against you children of israel against the whole family which i brought up out of the land of egypt you only have i known of all the families of the earth going into the nations you know the lord I had no time with these nations man neither does this other nation have time with the lord but if these nations were to on this time come you know um to into the lord laws that's one commandment start to keep the, the, the solemn feasts you know the sabbath all these things it would be of none effect unto them right let's see i will punish you for the iniquities the the, the promises though they, they would do they could do how many righteous things they want one the, the, the kingdom of heaven is already set for the the, the, the seed of israel right um, Galatians chapter 3 and 16 uh, it says now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made he said not unto seeds of many but as of one unto thy seed which is a Mashiach Yes, yeah, so not not of seeds of many. So you're not gonna see well alright Abraham all Abraham's children would inherit no. There's this specific lineage, you know, in Isaac shall I you know seed be called the righteous seed. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob down the, the lineage. Alright? So the, the these heathens have no partakings in in, in, in our service of the lord or any thing to do with salvation or or the or the kingdom of heaven has been in rulership or anything you know in scripture says here in the book uh, that is why the lord you know didn't want it, them even preach unto them right Matthew 10 and 5 let's see then yeah, these twelve hours shall I send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, which is the heathens, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, because he know they that dwell amongst their are heathens. Alright? Matthew fifteen fifty four. Uh, Matthew fifteen.
Let me turn my 27, 7 and 6. Yeah, that's right, it's a give not that which is holy, you know, which is this word, you know, teaching, you know, this her our heritage, our remembrance, and who we truly are. We ought not to get that to the dogs, which is the heathens. Neither cast see your pearls for swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Yeah. Alright. The book of Second Ezra 527. It says, and among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten the one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou givest a law that is approved of all. You know? Yeah. And now, Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many, which is heathens? And upon the one root thou hast prepared others, and why hast thou scattered thy only one people among many? And they which did gain say thy promises, and believe not thy covenants, have trodden them down. Right? Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Right. Romans 3 and 1 Let's see What advantage then had the Jew Or what profit is there of circumcision Much every way Chiefly Because unto them were committed The oracles Of Yahweh Bashem Yerushai Yes so that is why you heathens cannot come into this and be a partaker because the oracles was only given unto the Israelites. You now just a quick one. Hopefully this lesson was already fine. All praises belong unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Akakodash, double honors unto the elders and apostles and great millstone. Salute to you, Akiam, until the next one, Shalom.